What it is, what it do, cyber world. Welcome to the Ash Said It Show. I'm your host, Ash Brown. I appreciate all of the love and support that you guys have continued to shower down on me over 1,700 episodes and half a million streams worldwide. None of this is possible without you guys, so I thank you so very, very much. Today is a special, special day. My guest today is a renowned chef, an author, a restaurateur, hospitality consulting specialist, and a chief culinary advisor, the multifaceted Chef G. Garvin. Hello. How are you doing? I am doing great, sir. How are you doing today? You know, I'm just hanging and banging. All right, that's the main point of it. Now, Chef, I definitely want to say, you know, thank you so much for finding time in your schedule to chat with me today. I'm a fan. My mom was a huge, huge fan, and she was always watching all of your programming, all of your shows, and but somehow would never actually make any of your recipes. She would manage to get all the ingredients and everything needed for these wonderful dishes and then somehow trick me into preparing everything, but in your style. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, because I play too much. I like to have fun on TV, so <laughs> people get caught up in the, in the humor. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. But for you, Chef, when did you first fall in love with cooking? So when did I first fall in love with food? Yes. <laughs> um, <laughs> man, you guys are funny. Um, you know... I don't know if I fell in love with food, but I, I, I certainly started dating food when I was about 13. And, uh, you know, wanted to stay out of trouble and, you know, learn to cook from some great black women, my mother, my grandmother. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, it started as a necessity. Go home, do your homework, clean up the house and start dinner. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, as I grew, I started working with some really wonderful people that, Embrace my young, my young, unexperienced culinary mind outside of the hood. It became, you know, something that I uh, would do for the rest of my life. Yes. Now, your new show on Aspire TV, it's cooking. You know, it's the new cooking show that they got on there, G. Garvin Live. It opens up October the 17th, 8 p.m. EST. What was the inspiration behind this program? You know, just doing what I wanted to do in the most humble way. Mm. Not doing a show that was overproduced. Um, you know, I'm not really in that TV space anymore. I'm, I'm, my businesses are incredibly, um, you know, they're doing incredibly well, thank God, with yeah. a lot of hard work. And TV is, you know, it's something that I still love, um, but without all the politics. Mm-hmm. Um, and this was about, you know, when the pandemic started, you know, what do you have at home? What can you make that's easy? You don't need to be a superstar chef. You know, if you got a jar or something, here's how you kick it up. If you got something that you've never done before, here's how you do it. Mm-hmm. And it's you go out and live because it's it's really, you know, it's it's not live as in, you know, like I said, all day on stage, but it's live and we really cook it. You know, mm-hmm. if there's a mistake, you'll see it. Mm-hmm. If I drop something, I'm a mistake. <laughs> but it's, it's meant to be fun. I think that cooking shows have gotten to a place where they are, you know, with respect to some great people, they're overproduced. Right. And, you know, if you're watching something at home and I'm, you know, somebody's doing, you know, white truffle from risotto with pea sheets and, you know, Kofi <laughs> duck, you ain't going to be able to find that nowhere. No. <laughs> so what's the point in doing it? Mm. You know, ain't nobody going to remember it. Certainly can't spell it. Yeah. So what's the point? Right. So do something that's fun, that's relevant to people, you know, and that's, and that's what it's about, doing mm-hmm. something that's fun and relevant. Yeah, and I definitely will say, yeah, you have been a little absent from the, the TV realm of things, so you've been missed. So I was certainly excited to see that, you know, you're coming back in your own style, in your own way, and uh, definitely going to... Yeah, show. but you also got to remember, I haven't necessarily been gone. Right. But, you know, I've been doing... Other you know, things. Five seasons of God's Grocery Games as a judge, mm-hmm. another six on God's Ranch Kitchen, you know, mm-hmm. uh, which is another great, two great, two network shows, all by my 
dear friend got Yeti, but you know, you get to my my age and you know my schedule. Yeah, it's about selecting, right? Mm. So you know, it's, it's, it's and, and and I love Aspire, so I'll always be a part of you know that family. Um, so it's a little bit different, but you know, yeah, I'm glad I to be back doing it. Absolutely. And the show, it does start this Sunday, October the 17th on Aspire TV, 8 p.m. EST. Chef G. Garvin, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate you. (laughs) Bye. Be cool. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Awesome, awesome show. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. Keeping in mind anyone to tell you that you can't do what you want to do. You look them square in the face. You tell them, don't believe me. Just watch. Watch what I do. Watch me make it happen. Watch me make history. That's what we're doing this for, the history books. Social media is nice, but real life is so much better. Until next time, you guys.